We really love being at the heart of campus. The best thing about the new fab is that it's right next door to the library, it's next door to the arts centre and the Oculus where a lot of arts uh, teaching goes on. So students have got everything right on their doorstep. A particularly great moment to see Warwick Arts and Humanities being brought back together with departments brought back together with very much a focus on community and collaboration which has been really the focus of, of the building. I think seeing Warwick invest so much in the arts department is really encouraging because it makes us students feel so valued and it sort of sets the bar for the academic world also. I am so grateful to the university that they're investing in the arts in this way. They've created this new building and it's, it's so wonderful to see the arts continue to be built up. This building offers lots of social learning spaces, lots of um, varied teaching spaces, a real opportunity to think about how we might cross a lot of interdisciplinary boundaries um, in terms of research collaboration but also co-creation with our students. Students here are going to have access to state-of-the-art facilities. We have two superb theatre studios and rehearsal rooms as well. We've got a fabulous high-tech media suite for our media students and we also have a full-size 70-seater cinema and screening rooms as well for our film and television students. And all of these spaces are also open to all of our disciplines and to students from around the university as well. So they're brilliant uh, creative spaces built to a very high standard. The building itself is excellent for all Faculty of Arts students, however what's really important for a modern languages student is the Transnational Resources Centre. The Transnational Resources Centre allows us to collaborate in between classes and also to socialise as well. I'm particularly excited about the new Antiquities Room. That will really allow us to make the most of our collection of ancient artefacts. It will give students the opportunity to handle the objects, learn curatorial skills, and even to design their own exhibitions. It's really exciting to be in this brand new building where we've brought all of the creative arts disciplines together into one place. It's a fabulously open and light and airy building and that's exactly what we're trying to do with our colleagues and our students as well, create that open space where, where disciplines can work together. To be together with other departments will allow us to explore our interconnections and find new innovative projects for research and collaboration. There are loads of really great study spaces for art students in the new Faculty of Arts building. So we are really pleased that students can work either informally or formally right here in the building. We really hope that this will make the FAB the place for art students to interact with each other. Every department has their own student study spaces. Uh, for example, the history department has a space where all history students can come and study. Throughout the building there are wonderful spaces that you can use both to study collaboratively and independently. The students who study in those spaces are going to be very lucky because they're going to get an absolutely first class education. There couldn't be a better place for art students on campus.